So hello everyone. When it comes to clinical research, you must have heard about investigator site file or trial master file at least. When it comes to compliance in clinical research, this particular file is very important as it states all the essential documents that are required in the clinical trial to be stored in this particular single file. So do you know what exactly this file contains? If not, let's find out. So now let us understand what exactly would be the contents of this session. First and foremost, we will understand what exactly is investigator site file or ISF and understand its requirement according to the GCP and regulatory authority. Then we'll look at the major difference between a TMF and an ISF. A lot of people get confused in this particular section. We'll look at it. Next, we'll look at each and every section of the ISF and by looking at all 15 session, we'll cover each and every aspect of the document that goes into ISF. Followed by that, we'll look at the significance of ISF in clinical research and how important part does it play when it comes to clinical research. Let's start. So coming on to the most fundamental question, what exactly is an ISF? So the investigator site file or ISF contains all the essential document which ensures that the trial site and the investigator are following the regulatory requirements set out by the ICA GCP. So whatever the documents that are essential to the clinical trial to the functioning of the clinical trial, it is responsible for the investigator as well as the trial site to ensure that they are present at the site. And the requirement for this investigator site file can be retraced to ICA GCP section 4.9.4 which clearly describes the investigator or the institution should maintain the trial documents as specified in essential document for the conduct of the clinical trial and as required by the regulatory requirements. So all the documents which are required by the regulatory authority as well as according to the essential document list provided by the ICGCP is the responsibility of the site and the principal investigator to have them in place. When it comes to ICGCP, it has an entire section dedicated to the essential documents, which is section 8. So section 8 clearly describes all the essential documents required for the clinical trials. So essential documents can be described as those documents which individually or collectively permit the evaluation of the clinical trial, the conduct of the clinical trial and the quality of the data that is being produced. So these essential documents essentially reflect how the trial is being conducted and what is the quality of the data that is being generated through this particular trial. Now this particular document serve a purpose where it demonstrate the compliance of the investigator, the sponsor, the site monitor and their compliance is to the good clinical practices as well as the requirement of the regulatory authority. So all in all the investigator site file contains essential documents which shows how the trial is being functioning according to the ICGCP regulatory requirement and it demonstrate the compliance of all the stakeholders in the clinical trial to work according to the requirements. Now let us understand the distinction between a trial master file and the investigator site file. So now when it comes to ISF and TMF, a lot of people use these particular terms interchangeably. But please be aware that there is a certain distinction. There is a difference between ISF and TMF. So I can clearly explain that when it comes to a trial master file, the location of the trial master file is with the sponsor and the location of the ISF is at the site. But it is very important to know that an ISF is a subset of a TMF. Okay, so whatever the documents are in the TMF, a subset can be found in a particular ISF. So the main distinction is in the location. Second is that the ISF is a small subset of the entire TMF and TMF is with the sponsor. So what exactly do we have in a TMF? So TMF contains protocol. SOP, training documents, monitoring visit reports and the shipment records of all the IP and related documents. 
when it comes to isf isf contains the complete informed consent forms the subject medical files the enrollment list the subject id code list as well as the sample records that are present at the site but there are certain documents which are even common between the isf and the tmf okay these are present in the both the files for example the study protocol the icf template the medical license the investigator brochure cvs of the pi etc etc so a lot of times i've seen in the interviews that people get confused between isf and tmf and i've seen people saying that these are one and the same thing but which is not so you have to clearly know the distinction between a isf and a tmf and how it distinguishes from the site as well as the sponsor end now coming on to the star of the night what exactly is the isf consist of what are the contents of the isf now let us look at one by one and section wise so the first section of the isf contains contact list now these contact list includes the details of the sponsor the cro involved the study team the vendors and the third party these details are important because in case of any requirement their reference should be handy so who particular is the medical monitor who particular is the vendor what is their email id's contact number so that has to be filed in section 1 when it comes to section 2 it is for general correspondence so whatever there is correspondence between the cro and the site as well as the sponsor and the site all the communication and correspondence are stored in section 2 which is called as general correspondence so these correspondence can be important letters can be important instruction which the cro sends to the site or the sponsor sends to the site these are stored here section 3 contains essential documents now these particular essential documents are such as cv gcp mrc of the pi sub i or the co i okay and as well as it requires cv and gcp of the team members such as crcs please note that in this particular section the qualification documents are required and the documents are also required for each and every member who is delegated in the particular study as well as the financial disclosure form or the fdf the training log for the particular trial as well as the delegation log so all the documents which qualifies the person to participate in the clinical trial is filed in section 3 as well as the delegation log the fdf and the training log are clearly filed in section 3 when it comes to section 4 it involves the study protocol the protocol signature page the summary of changes to the protocol and the amendments so the protocol shall be there if there are any changes to the protocol it will be filed in section 4 as well as if there are any particular changes in the uh, protocol as well as the protocol receipt that will be filed in section 4 so all the things related to the protocol any amendments all that trace would be filed in section 4 so these are the four important section of the isf so in the next week we'll see the second part of the investigator site file where we'll discuss section 5 to section 15 and what exactly are documents there and what is the role in clinical trial and how a investigator study file is significant in clinical research so please subscribe to the channel stay tuned so we will see you next week thank you for watching this video and make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you get notifications of the next part of investigator site file and share it with all your friends who can understand what exactly is function of isf and how the documents play an important role